Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. George and Lydia Hadley are the proud owners of a happy life home that cost them $30,000 to install. This house that clothed and fed and rocked them to sleep and played and sang and was good to them. The most elaborate feature of the story's futuristic world is a nursery, which can reproduce any scene in complete oral, visual, or olfactory detail in response to the occupant's thought waves. Wendy and Peter Hadley's children have used the nursery to create fantasies such as Oz, Wonderland, and Dr. Doolittle, but most recently they have used it to recreate an African veldt. The image of charging lions frightens the Hadleys as they investigate the nursery. Indeed, the incident has left them so shaken that Lydia suggests closing the nursery for a few days, despite the fact that the children practically live for the nursery. She begs George to turn off all the labor-saving devices in the house so they can take a break and do things for themselves. George considers how the children have become obsessed with the African veldt, with its hot sun, vultures, and feeding lions, over dinner. The nursery demonstrates that death has become a prominent thought in his children's minds. When he returns to the nursery, he orders it to remove the veldt and display an image that he believes is healthier for his children, but the room does not respond. The nursery's machinery will not change the veldt, either due to a malfunction caused by overuse or because someone, possibly Peter, has tampered with the machinery. When the children return home from a carnival, George inquires about the nursery, but they deny any knowledge of the veldt. When the Hadleys return to the nursery, they discover a new scene that Wendy must have added. However, George discovers an old wallet of his on the nursery floor, complete with tooth marks, lion odor, and blood. The Hadleys later hear human screams and lion roars coming from the nursery. They are aware that the children have defied orders and are back in their playroom. Wendy and Peter are adamantly opposed to George's suggestion that the family forgoes the house's mechanical aids, including the nursery, for a period of time. Peter appears to have no other goal in life than to watch and listen to sophisticated electronic entertainment. He warns his parents that they should abandon their plans to close the nursery. Concerned about the children's growing secrecy and disobedience, George and Lydia invite their friend David McLean, a psychologist, to investigate how the children use the nursery. As George and David enter the nursery, they notice lions in the distance eating something. David is disturbed by the carnage in the entire veldt. He explains that the nursery can be used as a psychological aid, with the images left on the walls acting as a mental index for the child. The veldt image, according to David, reflects the children's hostility toward their parents. They dislike their parents' authority and prefer the ever-responsive nursery. The psychologist strongly advises them to leave their happy life home and start over somewhere else. As they leave the room, David discovers Lydia's bloodstained scarf. Finally, George turns off the nursery and the rest of the house. The kids throw a grandiose tantrum in which Peter begs the now disconnected machinery not to let his father kill the house. Lydia joins the children in pleading for one more minute of nursery viewing until George relents. The children are given one minute to wait for David McLean's arrival so that George and Lydia can fly to a new life in Iowa. The Hadleys are getting ready to leave when they hear Wendy and Peter calling to them. They rush into the nursery, only to find the same veldt scene with the lions staring at them. The Hadleys hear Peter shouting to the house as the door slams and locks. The lions then begin to approach them, and, they suddenly realized why those other screams had sounded familiar. When David McLean arrives at the house, he discovers only the children in the nursery, who are watching lions feed on something in the distance. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.